We're in America. We don't use no silly Celsius or the metric system because we're America. Part two of installing a JPI 830 engine monitoring system that goes right there. Use your imagination. Today we're gonna finish installing our few sensors that we've got left and then I would really like to be able to turn it on and see some lights come on and just make sure everything works to check for connections and so on and so forth. I also, as a bonus, as you recall, Jason, my hero, coming through yet again, boom, these little light rings go on these gauges. And I'm missing the plastic piece that goes over this that has the lights in it, like this one down here. And those lights suck. You always gotta flick them and tap them and everything. They're a pain in the butt. And these were in that box of goodies that I got from Jason. So I am totally gonna put it on that one. I've got another one down here that will be able to go right there. How awesome is that? Sweet. Thank you, Jason. Coming through yet again. Well, stay tuned and let's get this show on the road. Enough chatting, let's get some work done. This is always the part that makes me the most nervous. I gotta drill through and make a hole going from the inside to the outside of the plane. This is a one shot deal. Okay, here goes the test. Turn the master on, turn the avionics. Yes, yes, look at that. Things are turning on. Finding, finding sensors, finding map, RPM, that's good. Oh, that's good, volts are good. <clears throat> so you'll notice right here, the intake air temperature is not showing. And in the instructions, it had a whole bunch of different things about a carbureted or fuel injected turbo and it had this pin you know your turbo intake temperature all this well it was kind of confusing about which pins to use for a intake air temperature sensor and i went on this wouldn't show up and i tried the different settings in here because you got to configure it to tell it if it's got a carburetor fuel injected and all that stuff well i couldn't figure it out on the settings so i went on to their website and it shows that the very first thing on the list is carb temperature sensor problems, frequently asked questions. And I looked in there and sure enough, in their description, it says, oh, you got to put them on pins, you know, five and six, I think, and not 16, 17 or whichever ones I did for the intake temperature sensors. So their instructions on that matter are really confusing to me. And I did not get it. And I had to look at the uh, website frequently asked questions and it was right on there the first thing so pop this thing back off switch those pins and then hopefully that'll get that and yes for those of you that are freaking out and your heads explode whenever you saw me just pulling the pins out I learned my lesson you guys are a little touchy about that kind of thing so I'll be using a pin extractor thanks mom yay we got temperature, it shows up under carb, even though it's not carbureted, but that's just the way the programming is on this. And yep, I had to switch out those two pins. And yes, I used the little pin extractor, so you guys will be all happy. And it looks like everything's up and going. It does look like there's quite a bit more things to learn on this system. And we will do that as we get moving. But now, I gotta take this off, get it painted, Get it ready to go so we can put it back on. And that's the install of the JPI 830. Easy peasy, limit squeezy. Yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty easy. I uh, just had the one pins in the wrong spot because the instructions were not clear at all. Uh, but other than that, everything went in, popped in, no problem. Just, uh, yeah, now it's just tie, you know, getting all the wires tied together and Close them all in, zip tying everything up, and getting everything looking pretty. Oh, we're so close. Getting closer, 80% done and 80% to go. That is so true on this project. Okay, well, see you next time. Let's keep rolling.